Welcome to PPT Dance. So in today's video, we are going to learn how to create a flicker and a glitch text effect and power bar. So here I've already added the text. For this type of text, I have just added the individual text boxes for each and every letter. Okay. Now I'm going to select all the text boxes and here we'll go to the animations effect and I'm just going to select the appear animation. Okay. So now let's just start with previous. Out of which few of the animation we are going to delay it by 0.25 seconds like this okay now similarly i'm going to select all the text boxes add animation and just going to give the disappear animation now similarly start with previous and delay few of them by 0.5 seconds Fine, we have to repeat these steps twice. Okay, so let's do it. Control A, add animation. Up. Now, in the next step, we are going to select all the text boxes together, and this time we are going to give appear animations to all the text boxes, and this time we are not going to delay any of the text boxes. So, let's just start with previous all the text boxes and just delay it by 1.25 seconds and now let's just add similarly disappear and then again appear so now let's have a preview for the same beautiful so this was a bit tricky so we had to add so many animations to it now here for the same kind i have another very easy but for that we need only a plain background okay so now i'm going to select all the text boxes or you can just select random okay? so i'm going to select l e and r okay and for that i am just going to give this font color animation and in the effect options i'm going to give the black color option now here in the animation pane i'll just go to the drop down menu start with previous reduce the duration to one second and in the if more effect options i'm going to select the auto reverse and then press ok now similarly we are going to give it to the other letters as well so f i c and k same way font color font color is going to be the black color okay it is also going to start with previous we are going to select auto reverse and then press ok like this fine now in the next step i'm going to select all text boxes this time and in the add animation we'll select the font color option for it we are going to select the black color and similarly we are going to delay it by two seconds and the duration again is going to be for one second only and in the more effect options let's just select auto reverse and then press ok now we are going to select all of these animations here and in the drop down menu in the more effect options we are just going to go to the timing option and repeat it twice and then press ok button now let's have a preview beautiful okay. now let's learn how to give the glitch text effect and powerpoint so for that we just need to insert a rectangle so let's go 
the insert shape option and just add the rectangle like this okay now for this rectangle the shape outline is going to be no more now we are going to select this text box please know that here i have added a single text box so let's just select this text box now by pressing the control key select the rectangle and now in the merge shapes option i'm just going to select the fragment okay now we are just going to remove the extra parts here now in the next step i'm going to select the upper portion of this text like this okay now in the shape format option first of all i'm going to make the exact copy of the text like this by pressing the control d now i'm going to give it a red color now i'm going to send it to the back like this okay and let's just shift it and adjust it like this fine beautiful all right now similarly we are going to select the other half as well press the control d to make the exact copy for this i'm going to give the green color Similarly, send it to back and let's just adjust the text like this. Yeah. Okay. Now let's just make the copy of the slide by pressing the control D key. Here, now we are going to interchange the color for the upper and in the second slide. Now in the next option, just make the copy of the same slide like this. And here we are going to select the middle part of the text. Okay. And let's just shift it towards the right hand side like this. Okay. Now select the first slide and make the copy of it. Bring it downwards. Again, select and then shift it to other side like this fine now if you want you can just add some lines as well all right now in the next step what you have to do you just have to make the copy of the same slides several times and just select all the slides together by pressing the shift key and the upper mouse button so we're going to select all the slides together and in the transition we are going to give the transition okay for only 0.25 seconds and we are going to remove on mouse skill on mouse click we are just going to select the after that's it and now let's just have a preview from the slide number three and let's just see 